Hola y bienvenidos. Hello and welcome. I'm Ivan Sandoval, Customer Service Division Manager at King County Superior Court Clerk's Office. I'm also a member of the King County Superior Courts and Community Committee. As that committee celebrates this year's Latinx Hispanic Heritage Month, we also encourage you to join us in celebrating the various achievements, successes, rich histories, contributions, and diverse cultures of the American Latinx Hispanic communities in the United States. The King County Superior Courts and Community Committee is fully dedicated to promoting public understanding of the justice system and eliminating barriers to equity and social justice. We do our work through public presentations, seminars, and other programs and activities. Today, in honor of the Latinx Hispanic Heritage Month, we are interviewing four extraordinary leaders. They will be sharing their traditions and other wonderful information about themselves. With us, we have Judge Michael Diaz from King County Superior Court, Aide Diaz Lozano from King County Clerk's Office, Leticia Figueroa from the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, and Wendy Elizalde, Elizalde Romero from the King County Clerk's Office. Thank you for joining us today, Aide. Um, this is a great time to celebrate the Latinx and Hispanic um, celebration. Please tell us a little bit about yourself, what your job title is, and how long have you worked for King County? Hi, hola. Mi nombre es Aide Ivon Díaz Solano, and I have been working with King County. I've been in the government field for longer, but specifically with King County for three months, going four months. Um, I couldn't be happier. I am part of the customer service division at the Department of Judicial Administration. And I, um, my title is Clerk Administrative Assistant. Thank you, Aide. Can you tell us a little bit about your Hispanic Latinx background? Yes, I was born in Veracruz, Mexico. Uh, and both of my parents, actually my entire family um, is in Veracruz or are in Veracruz, born and raised. Uh, my parents decided to move for a better life, a better future, so they left everybody and they left the family neighborhood um, as we, most of us have had and decided to move to Tijuana, Baja California Norte, which is border town with San Diego, San Isidro. Um, and they were very brave to break that chain of living within a block of every member of the family and just going on that search for a better future for them and for their kids. Um, so I was raised in Tijuana and then after that, life brought me to San Diego. And from San Diego, 13 years, I was living in San Diego. And then uh, unpredictable, I would have never thought that I would be so far away. I ended up in Seattle and I have been here for the past five years. So it has been a, a challenge, but also a big reward to be in this state coming from, and I, I think I sent a picture of a map like where I was born, like so far away to uh, moving from Veracruz to Tijuana to being in Seattle. <laughs> so I I think that's um, that's amazing. I am very happy to be here at the Department of Judicial Administration in this specific division because it helps me help people, and that is my passion. Thank you, Aide, and welcome to the King County Clerk's Office. During the Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month, as you know, we celebrate the various achievements of the American Latino communities in the United States. How will you best describe the Hispanic Latinx communities? And what does Hispanic Latinx Heritage Month mean to you? Well, I believe the biggest part of our identity and the best way to um, describe it is the pride, how proud we feel, the pride that we carry by sharing our culture, our family traditions, our family bonds, and our food with not only our people, but with Americans, with other cultures, with people from all over the world. It's like we, we have that pride of sharing, welcoming, loving everybody, showing everybody what we have and who we are. 
And um, the beauty of our people and our communities comes from the struggles that we have all shared and the history that identifies us. Hispanic and Latinx Heritage Months makes me feel happy to share those memories and traditions with others because those are things that we don't think about every day. Sometimes we get caught up in the um, moment or in the in the daily duties of life that we sometimes forget on subconsciously. So I think the the Hispanic and Latinx Heritage Month makes me feel happy to share those memories and traditions with others. And it means a lot to me because we are all far away from what we once call home. So during this month, we get not only to bring back all those memories, but um, we talk about them. We It brings us together and we get to know each other as a community and share that with everybody else around us. Thank you, Aide. You previously talked a little bit about your family. How has your family helped shape who you are? And what are some traditions your family passed on to you and you plan on passing on to your loved ones? My family has been the biggest influence and I, I, I want to be specific, my mom and my dad, um, they are the most important part of whatever success I can have. And that specific example of my parents moving far away from their family and their hometown and their comfort zone and without hesitation, just uh, pack it and go uh, to a place that they knew no one, uh, they had no family members around, no neighbors, nothing. They're into trying yourself and stay strong while thinking about all those decisions that might impact your future and how they were also thinking about future generations being like, okay, we have to offer our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids a better future. So it takes one person or one couple to make that decision to open the doors for the future generations. And that, I think that's something that I carry on and value so much from them and more, I mean, other you know, foreigner families, Hispanic, Latinx families, they dare to challenge themselves and then just pack and go for, or to be able to open those doors for future generations. And that's amazing. And I admire that. And that's a big, big motivation every day in my life. That is so wonderful. Thank you, Aide. Which Hispanic, Latinx person you admire the most and why? Cesar Chavez. I think I want to be like Cesar Chavez. I think we all talk and talk and talk about how much we care and we want to change the world and we want to do, but he's a, an inspiration to me. He was one of those people who said, I'm not going to just talk, I'm going to do. And just by uh, caring about vulnerable communities, which in this case was ag agricultural workers, I built I believe that until that point, no one else had talked about or, or dared to speak up and fight for them. So having that attitude and willingness to speak up when you know you will be ignored multiple times before you even get a chance to be heard. And, that this, and at the same time, you keep yourself encouraged. Do not give up because you're being ignored. You're not being heard. So he's a, uh, an amazing example of of all the things that we can do as a community to fight for vulnerable people, for the rights, for, for you know, just, just to be there for them and give them a voice. So I think that's amazing and admirable. And I wish I could be like Cesar Chavez. I wish we all care as much to there to do all those things. Thank you, Aide. And then lastly, what is your favorite Hispanic Latinx dish? I have so many, but I have to say <laughs> like my favorites are my grandma's picadas or sopes, like in Veracruz, we call them picadas, and northern Mexico, they call them sopes, and it's just a simple dish, like, with, like, um, corn dough and um, salsa, different types of salsa, it can be salsa verde, green salsa, red salsa, different salsas, and you just spread cheese on it, and people call it poor men's food, but yes, that's what it was, <laughs> you have to feed a family of 10, so you have to try your best to come up with, with whatever idea, so picadas or sopes are my favorite. If there's money, you put a carne asada and then avocado is the best. <laughs> Thank you, Aide. Thank you for taking the time and sharing this with all of Thank us. You. Today.